Finko Ventures, who go by the ticker B B I G, are a funny one, really. They're a holding company that's into digital media and tech, but they're also heavily into cryptocurrencies. So it's like a strange mix of a holding company, but they are very popular in the day trading community. Very volatile stock and earnings are up this week on Friday. So potentially it has a high level of short stocks as well. So you know there could be a squeeze on the cards as well. So I'm going to look at the charts to see where the price could be heading next. What can we take away from the weekly line chart? Well, I suppose it's that big run up mid last year in the summertime up to those recent highs, just over $10. And then the 70% pullback since then, landing them back where they were, sort of start that run up in 2021 and for most of 19 and 20. Very volatile stock. You can see all the volume on the uh, volume at price profile on the right there at this sort of level as well. But really, it's a stock that bounces around, has a lot of social media sentiment attached to it, and at the moment looking pretty dangerously low. So if you are bullish, then the four line break chart gives you an entry at around $4.14. That's more aggressive. And then after that, probably around about the $5 zone for another entry point. Daily high Kanashi, if we head to the signals at the bottom, mixed to flat neutral, volatility and volume on the way down, making again a pretty neutral feel. And heading on to price, sort of in the middle of that two standard deviation regression band, the price pulled back, as you can see, from September time. And then really pretty neutral flat that trend looking quite dull you know dull in terms of long term potential gains it's those short term spikes in price that are the plays and of interest to people but at the moment looking a bit dull and flat really now onto the renko chart i've used a 30 cents block size and our signals down the bottom in the short term we see that bounce back and we got two bullish short-term signals but the trend down the bottom there that modified DMI showing bearish so we're going neutral overall there and then onto the price direct you see that yellow highlighted area around the early ones price didn't really want to go below there and also those green circles you can see throughout the price history around that five dollar mark was a key area of support and resistance now if we're talking potential targets into the downside really there's not much below it so there's not much further it can really go it's about upside recovery really and then we're talking once it can get through that five dollar noise range maybe eight dollars twelve dollars and up to say fifteen dollars so if we're talking bullish recovery then i had a look inside my broker first trade for some options ideas so you can do options on vinco ventures and there's enough liquidity in there to play around with. So if you had $1,000, say, to put on some bullish strategies for the shorter term, then you can see here you could buy 323 shares with your money, or you could buy three May 20th three strike calls, or you could buy three May 20, 2022, three four and a half call vertical spreads. Now, the play there that stands out as the green circle rating of 191 is just the calls. And, you know, the price doesn't have to go up too much. If it went up to $4.45, you're going to make yourself $246, 130% return. And the way the price moves and is volatile, we've got earnings on Friday, you know, it's got potential there if you're bullish. Now, I would sometimes recommend the straddle options strategy but with the downside being very minimal it's probably not worth the risk so maybe buying the calls if you are bullish is worth a consideration so let's summarize the uh, technical analysis for vinco weak bearish score overall you know that trend's been down pretty neutral flat 
you know, going nowhere. Volatility, volume dropping off. Some bullish numbers up in the top right for you to get any. That's your point of view. And in terms of targets, 1.57, 3.67 to 1 to the upside. Downsides, is it worth the risk? 0.78, 1.27 to 1. But overall, weak bearish at the moment based just off the technicals. Now, if you were going to trade at Finco based just off the technicals, then you'd probably actually stay away from it at the moment. But there's two big variables, two big red flags that might you know, prod your interest. The first one is earnings. Now, that's Friday. And the prior two, the previous week runnings have both been negative. But the following week, you've seen you know, a minus 20% and a plus 120% move. So there is some big potential there. Now, other than earnings, the second one is the short squeeze possibilities. 18% of the stock is short, you know, short interest at the moment, and there is a high potential, you know, possibility. You know, the social media, the Reddit gang get going. This price could skyrocket on upwards. So something to certainly look out for. So let me know in the comments what you think of Inco Ventures and Big. And I say it's popular stock out there to be traded. So. Let me know and I say what you think. And if you want to discuss it in even more detail, our free traders club on Discord is there for you. Free to join and all are welcome. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification content I will be producing. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.